a unique package of divine possibilities, the epitome of God's work, the very best, the master architect and grand designer of the universe who purposed to make little versions of himself complete with a mandate of having dominion on earth. Wow, what a catchy statement. What is the genesis of that? The genesis of all this, I believe that every human being was created with a purpose. A bird was created to fly, a fish was to swim, so human beings have got a purpose. Mm -hmm. And if I reflect about the words of Dr. Max Mundo when he said that the wealthiest place on the earth is the cemetery. So as human beings, we have potential within us. We are only limited to the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Such words of wisdom, Matani Mesau, who introduced. <laughs> okay. Kindly tell us about yourself. Thank you so much once again. I'm Bran Oten of the Ambo. I'm born, I come from Kisumu. Currently, I'm a student of Kibab University, third year, I'm taking finals. So, beside the academic program, I'm a motivational speaker and also an author. Beside also being an interviewer, I also have a passion on media. Mm. Yeah. Wow, a motivational speaker and author. An interviewer. You're a master of many things. Yeah. Uh, how did that come about? What inspired you to follow this path? I think human beings were not limited, just like Steve Jobs. The co-founder, the founder of Apple, what he said during a certain ceremony, he said that no human being is limited. As human beings, I think the only limit you have is our mindset. But as a human being, if you can widen our thoughts, we are going to realize that you've got a potential of being a lot more than we can begin even to imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, wealth within you. That's statement just you're a unique package of divine possibilities and now the title is wealth within you what where did it come from wealth just like potential and every human being is talented you know i believe that god never created any single soul without something god brought us on this planet to do something and wherever we discover our purpose to me wealth is not money wealth is the value of a human being mm -hmm. what is it that you were gifted in that you are doing mm -hmm. think about when Jer god spoke to jeremiah that before you were born before i put you in a mother's home mm -hmm. i knew you and i appointed you to be a king therefore as human beings we have got potential that we can't believe we have the hidden treasure in us so the potential to me is wealth when you use it in the right purpose. Wow. Yeah. And and uh, how did it come about that Bran Odiambo publishes a book called Wealth Within You? Yeah, Wealth Within You, I was inspired. I read a book by titled Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I also get a certain book called Change Your Thinking, Change Your Life. Then I read another one from Brian Tracy about 21 Secrets of Millionaires. So this book, when uh, or after going through these books, there's something that I realized that is common. They were all talking about individualism or being just personal being. That apart from even we got studies, we got many things, ways of acquiring wealth. But truly human being itself or himself or herself is a wealth. So this book gave me a wider view about what wealth is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did it come that you published it? Yeah, so it, uh, somewhere it has been a journey that was not easy. So I started writing. In fact, this was my, it was not my first book. It was mm -hmm. my, all, my fifth book. Okay. And by God's grace, it has now become the first one to be published. I started writing quite a number of them. I, wrote, I think my first one, the first idea, book title that I wanted to write and that I wrote was Life of a Student. Mm -hmm. So I shared with my mentor, Dr. Robert Wafula. And with that, I, was, I kept on learning how to write as I was reading. So when I wrote about wealth, they knew. I when I now I told my parents that I would wish to publish a book titled Wealth They Knew. To me, I felt that the information that I have, this by God's grace, should be my first published work. Okay. So through them, my mentor, Dr. Robert Wafula, and the support of the parents in terms of capital, I was able to get a good publisher and make it a dream come true. Late December last year. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, you're a student. Yes. How Jamaliza Shule, you've published a book. How was the reception of society towards your book when you wanted to publish it and they're like, ah, oh, you're not too young or something? 
truly, and uh, this is what I always say that and it's a word from my favorite speaker, Les Brown, mm -hmm. that you are not young to teach and you are not old to learn. So to me, at first I felt like I'm too young. Will people accept really my book? Mm -hmm. What do I have now to tell people? But by now I've realized that it has become an inspiration to many young people and even the old. Oh, at this age you've published a book. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge and also it's an inspiration. Wow. Yeah. I see here it's about the author. Brian Odhiambo is, is a third-year finance student at Kebabi University. He's a motivational speaker and a career mentor of students in secondary schools and colleges. How do you manage that, being an author? Being an author, I think it's just about balancing the studies mm -hmm. and also this is my passion. And being a student at university, university, I have realized that you've got a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So at least after class, I've got something that can keep me busy and escape any other way of wasting time or something that cannot be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are a motivational speaker mm -hmm. and a career mentor yeah. to students in secondary school and colleges. These are people almost your age. Yeah, true. You know, true, true, yeah. How do you get that platform to lead and talk to them? Where did that come from? Okay. I was lucky to be in Kebab University and mm -hmm. I discovered myself as a public speaker when I joined. Mm -hmm. So I want to appreciate my mentor. He's like a dad to me, Dr. Robert Wafula. Mm -hmm. He's the person that I think has mentored me that today I can speak. Wherever he has a platform, Kibabi University itself, we have a program of mentorship where every Thursday, secondary school will visit Kibabi and we give them a talk. And I always pray to be one of the speakers that day through my, my mentor, Dr. Robert Wafula and Bishop Lee. Mm -hmm. And even when he, maybe we have visits to the outer schools, he goes a visit, he will always ask me to accompany. So that one gives me a platform mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, and, and maybe also social media. Uh, talking about uh, career mentorship, mm -hmm. and from my understanding, a career, mentorship, uh, a career mentor is someone maybe in the industry who has had an experience in career. Mm -hmm. But uh, you as a student, where are you coming from do, being a mentor? Yeah, true. That was also, I felt like maybe my age, can I really speak about this? But to me, this is how I understand career. Mm -hmm. I think in life or in education, we've got two things. We have a profession and a career. A profession is what you study while in class. Mm -hmm. But a career can be your, full, your purpose, what you are fulfilling. For example, we have people that, for example, Muhammad Ali. He got a career with the talent that he had. We had people who are doing sports. They, they, that is their own career. So to me, also being that the, my purpose in life, I've realized that's public speaking or motivational speaking mm -hmm. and also writing. I want to use this as a career and also share with young people. Mm -hmm. Let them not limit themselves with profession, but there is a lot they can pursue a career and I encourage people to pursue their career. It's of God's purpose. Wow. Yeah. And uh, as a speaker, what topics or what areas do you tackle and why, do you, wh why those topics? Uh, the first key area, and I think I'm much passionate about it, is called personal development talk. The reason why I focus about personal development talk is because I believe many young people and many people miss opportunities in life, not because they are not talented, not because they are not knowledgeable enough, but because of their personal, most of them have self-limiting beliefs. So I always believe that as a personal development speaker, and I love the area of changing your mindset. Mm -hmm. If I'm, be, I'm able to talk to somebody and the mind of the person is transformed, just like is it, is, it is indicated in the book of the book of life, that don't be conformed to this world, but be mm -hmm. transformed by the renewal of your mind. Yeah. When you re, your mind has changed, your life has changed. Mm -hmm. The second area that I talk about is entrepreneurial or business. I'm a, I call myself a business speaker. Be, beside finance, but I love the area of marketing. I see that the world has changed. And young people, currently, we should focus on entrepreneurship. Many jobs have been overtaken by technology. And as a young person, look whatever you are pursuing as a course in a way in which you can create now a business. Is it something that if you are not lucky to have a direct employment, mm -hmm. you've got something you can do and earn, get away of earning your income? Wow. Then the last part that I do in my public speaking is leadership. I think everybody was born a leader. And once you were born a leader, let us be leaders. And leadership to me is not politics, and it's not a position. To me, leadership is a personality. When you are a leader, you become an influencer, and you can change the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I, one, one cannot give off a cup that is empty, right? True. So you've talked about personal development, mm -hmm. business, and, and leadership. leadership. Mm -hmm. Do you have that? 
to me i see myself i have that personal development number one i think it is because i believe myself that's why i've published a book mm-hmm. as in business also i've been able through kibabi university creative ideas like mentorship talk show is a program that i started in kibabi university i'm trying to see in future that this mentorship talk show will also teach our politician how to speak when they <laughs> and mentorship talk show i'm also looking away in which i'll be able to train young people mm-hmm. how to speak mm-hmm. i'm very sure if they are able to speak before people that build their confidence and that's the best way to network wow. leadership i see myself as a leader i'm a role model i thank god that now I've become a role model to many people mm-hmm. when people you say a young person be like i would wish to do what you are doing you mm-hmm. publish a book so i think does i'm talking about what i'm doing or mm-hmm. i'm op- um, much on on the line on it you're, yeah yeah okay and uh as you started mm-hmm. you had a goal you know yeah. why did you decide to follow through with this action of publishing a book becoming a speaker and uh, doing whatever you're doing truly uh, speaking to me is power mm-hmm. i think when you have ability whatever a person speak is what you sell mm-hmm. so as a human being when you have an idea but you can't speak about your idea some of your idea may be useless now because it has no benefit Mm-hmm. but if you have an idea and you've t- talked about it as an inspiration as an education is a blessing to the society so to me i felt that this message i believe that my message is an impact of somebody when somebody can listen to my videos on youtube when somebody can read my work he will be inspired and with that to me i feel is a blessing mm-hmm. then also on being an author the reason i chose about i saw many public speakers are authors people like les brown my favorite speaker I people like Brian Tracy, people like Zig Ziglar. So I said for me also to be effective, let me put it on word. This one will live even if after my death. Mm-hmm. So that's what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what is the place of uh, your profession as a finance uh, person mm-hmm. that you're studying? Where where does it fit in in all this? Wow, some of a good question and is a question somebody also asked me. We know finance are only to be sitting. They are not expected to be talking too much. Mm-hmm. but uh, even though it's not i think i don't want to limit myself i don't want to stick myself with profession but to widen my space mm-hmm. and fight for my space yeah so it, even though it's not related but i can be finance speaker mm-hmm. after pursuing finance a profession and having further studies i'll be able now to speak about finance how to manage money mm-hmm. some people say money is a friend of mine who told me that money is not everything but it's the only thing so as a finance <laughs> let me educate your money <laughs> okay and uh where do you get the time to write writing is not an easy task true you know yeah. where do you get the time to write and also do your coursework as finance uh true writing it took me for example the book itself took me more than a year to write mm-hmm. and uh, i think time management is wealth management that's what i've talked about it here okay when as a human being you know how to manage your time you will be able to balance work and by the end of the day you are purposeful mm-hmm. so it's a matter of creating time when i'm in school i have a timetable to follow for academic work but also there's a lot of time as young people you know so it's just about being utilizing and maximizing your time mm-hmm. 24 hours is a blessing to everybody each day yeah yeah i would love to understand how has that experience being an author motivational speaker reaching out to young people like you how has that experience been? Yeah, the fruits are good. <laughs> <laughs> I never expected it so. Mm-hmm. Though it was very hard for when I began the journey for people to accept and even sometimes to accept myself. Mm-hmm. When I thought myself about being a motivational speaker, I attended a common unit class where I was talked by Dr. Kennedy Simiyu. So after the class I felt that I have something to speak about. Mm-hmm. So I rushed to Dr. Kennedy Simiyu's office and I told him, "Doc, I'm feeling that I want to speak." Being that he was our teacher on communication, I thought is now he can now help me on that. Mm-hmm. So he took me to Dr. Robert. I told Dr. Robert the same that I would wish to speak and I wish to help. Him. So when he told me that a journey of 100 miles begin with one step, mm-hmm. it was very hard by that time. I would be speaking and people are like, "Brian, what are you speaking about? Who are you? You still have you are not having much in life mm-hmm. and we expect speakers to be good financially, well educated." But with time I realized it's now inspiration that people like my message they are taking it as a is giving a value addition in their life mm-hmm. though it also had a criticism was there some challenges of rejection you are too young to speak mm-hmm. you've not yet tested how long have you lived on this planet <laughs> yeah, but yeah. now thank god mm-hmm. and uh, 
what do you intend to target while doing this work? You've talked about potential within oneself mm -hmm. and reaching out to young people. What is your aim or goal towards this? I think I'll be so happy by the end or by the end of my days in this planet when many life will be impact, when many people are going to live a life of a purpose. That by the end of the day, beside even your profession, beside what, how, where you are brought up, you've changed your life and now even yourself, you are living a life that pleases God and pleases yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to impact lives. That's why I, I, my slogan for my public speaking is, it is inspiration before expiration. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, what can you say, you've talked about the challenge of uh, maybe not believing in yourself that you can do it. What mm -hmm. other milestones have you encountered or maybe you would worth, worth mentioning, maybe someone wants to do the same and uh, they feel that Kuna challenges mob. What challenges have you encountered? In terms of writing, was a big, I started writing while I was a first year, but now you see I've published a book when I was a third year, almost ending. And I want to, I'm so much grateful to my parents once again. Mm -hmm. It was expensive to publish, to be honest. It <laughs> was quite, in fact, I was depressed. There's one Wednesday, I can't forget. It was, I thought like, will I really make it? Mm -hmm. But now, th things to do with number one is uh, financially. Mm -hmm. It's somehow a challenge. Then secondly, in terms of people, you know, so, uh, society expects people to be speaking. At least there are people who are aged. Mm -hmm. People who are intellectuals, people who have done things that I think that are remarkable. Mm -hmm. But now when you are, when you are young, even sometimes you are used to feel like that giving a stage would be hard. But I think having mentorship is what has really helped me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having mentorship. Yeah, having a mentor has mm -hmm. really helped me. What can you say about that? What how how important is it, is it to have a mentor in someone's life? You know, like I believe that a mentor is like a map. You want to go somewhere you've never been. And when you have a map or a Google map, at least you have some direction. Mm -hmm. As young people, I think the young people, the only problem we have, we have talent, we are having brilliant ideas, even entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have somebody to take you to that, then it's very hard. Mm -hmm. Even the people that made it in life, let us check people like Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey had a mentor called Maya Angelou. If I check people like Ma Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg was mentored by Steve Jobs. Check on Bill Gates. Bill Gates is being mentored, was, is being mentored by Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. And now you as a person, the question is, who is your mentor? We need somebody to guide you. Somebody told you, Brian, I mean, here, this is the limit. Mm -hmm. Do this way. With that, I think, is the best way to move in life. Well, I like what you've said about uh, the different people who have different mentors. Mm -hmm. I, I, I may be a person who said, by this, Ibeshtiangu ni mentor. You see, mm -hmm. since Tunakanga na yeye ni mentor. So what can you say about that? Who, who sh how should a mentor be? Or oh. what criteria should I use to mm -hmm. look for a mentor? Yeah, mentor, a mentor, I think the easiest way or the best way to identify a mentor, look somebody who's doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I was so happy Dr. Kennedy linked with Dr. Robert. Dr. Robert is a public speaker and also international speaker. So this person is doing what I wanted to do. You can, you may be, maybe want to pursue something or to do business. I think you, you need a mentor in business. Mm -hmm. This is just personal take in business. Young people, things to do even in marriage, get a mentor in marriage. Mm -hmm. If it's a career, you want to be a doctor, get a mentor on being a doctor. Mm -hmm. But now mentorship, if there's that person you admire, I admire Dr. Robert, that's why I do even attend. I want to see how this person speaks. So it's just somebody you can learn something from him. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm being mentored. Thank you so much. <laughs> so what about wealth within you? Where, where do you see a future? going with this? I'm very sure, and one day it will be a best-selling book. Yeah. I'm very sure about that. Mm -hmm. And being that this is the first edition, mm -hmm. I know many have got many positive feedback from different people mm -hmm. that after reading the book. And I'm very sure many lives are going to be impacted. Many people are going to realize who they are. Mm -hmm. Things to do with the employment that youth are complaining about, there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. We have got hidden treasure with us. Yeah, so I'm saying it's going to be a best-selling book few years. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. And what what next big thing are we expecting to see from Brian Odiambo? Being that this is my passion and this is my purpose. Now, hopefully this 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 year, this the new year, I'm praying that every year I'll be publishing a book. At least by the end of the year, let there be a book. And then my next book that hopefully by the mid of the year I'll be out the beauty of a woman. Mm. Then I'll follow the change of mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, 
done about the manuscript i'm just doing some clarification by god's grace they'll be out let's talk a bit about that the beauty of a woman, beauty of a woman. yourself you're not a woman so how do you expect <laughs> to write a book about women uh the reason why i choose a woman and for example to me i love my mom so much mm-hmm. my mom has been also a mentor to me she has encouraged me and most of the times so when i'm difficult the first person to call is my mom mm-hmm. so i see my mom as a role model even to many women I believe through her life is an inspiration to me. Mm-hmm. And if I write the story about the story about her in terms of family beauty and inspiration to other people. Mm-hmm. Then another thing things with the girl child. No society also I think it's now time in this 21st century it's time to end up even things with female genital mutilation. Mm-hmm. Let us empower the girl child. The girl child let us give the women or ladies a position in our society. Leadership. I like this lady by called Margaret Thatcher. She has become now she is well known as the iron lady through leadership. Mm-hmm. In Kenya we can have a Margaret Thatcher. We Let, do, Tafuta, uh, we, we do. do have. So I believe that book will be an inspiration to many girl child. Mm-hmm. And it will impact also their lives, benefit them mm-hmm. much more and become better beyond their belief system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of your books being an inspiration to many people, where can if I am I'm a person who has been motivated to read your book, where can I find it? Maybe where what are your social media handles that we can find you? Okay, so book my book for example Wealth Within if you're in Kisumu, mm-hmm. we've got uh, this bookshop called Apic Bookshop mm-hmm. opposite Mega City near KB, KCB Bank. Mm-hmm. We've got K School Suppliers on Ngodinga Street. Mm-hmm. and we've got Nyanza Laboratory Bookshop mm-hmm. they are available mm-hmm. and also I'm looking forward to now publish it on Amazon that any person all over the world can access the book mm-hmm. then on social media platform YouTube Facebook page to uh, Facebook page Instagram I call myself Dr Brand Motivator mm-hmm. that's where I post my daily inspiration to people and get inspired mm-hmm. yeah and how how do you do your market strategy cuz uh, getting it into bo- libraries and mm-hmm. other bookshops mm-hmm. is not easy true, how true. do you market yourself i like that question so much as a business speaker and marketing is <laughs> one of the area that i love <laughs> you know i believe that marketing is the heart that pumps a business mm-hmm. when there's no market i think the business will die so for example my book i have i i have a targeted audience my book is uh, my term highly recommend it for young people though also uh, uh, mature people can read it so something like when i attend platforms maybe to speak to students in school mm-hmm. school always access them secondary school or college then also on social media i, I post about the book i can give i can give a brief capture about the book and people will be like i will wish to know more maybe mm-hmm. can i have a book mm-hmm. yeah and what uh, what sparked your let's say that uh, eureka moment in this book that you can highlight for us in the book mm-hmm. the book has a lot mm-hmm. but let me just give a few mm-hmm. let me talk about something to do with time time to me is wealth and the p- difference between people who achieve a lot and people who achieve in less is mm-hmm. just man- poor management of time or management of time is what makes the difference mm-hmm. Things to do with the talent on chapter one. Mm-hmm. Everybody on this world, I've had many young people who have also approached me and told me, Brian, what's my talent? Mm-hmm. Everybody has got talent. That's why in the, my first chapter, I've talked about how to discover your talent. Many people have got known their talent, they have discovered their talent, but they don't know how to empower their talent. So empowering is now what, what I talk about, mentorship. Mm-hmm. And then exploring your talent. After discovering, and now you are empowering, being trained. How do you exploit that, that, that now you can know that Oh this person is talented in singing you are talented you can be a good preacher you can be a good speaker so on that I've talked about it. and that's about showing up mm-hmm. that one has in my memory quote that says 90% of life is just showing up believe in yourself and show, show it up. up whom you are wow yeah and uh, what advice do you have for someone who is watching you in envy and they feel they want to do the same what i can tell you is that starting early is not a crime Mm-hmm. coming early is not a crime get started <laughs> that's all i have <laughs> wow wow starting early is not a crime arriving early is not a crime get started that will be my ending this has been youth in action i am nyangwesa grenis see you next time
This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. 